Hey everybody, this is Chris Welch for The Verge, and we're taking a look at the latest version of Android. Uh, this is the first preview of Android M. It came out today, we saw it at Google's I.O. keynote, and uh, now you can install it on your own Nexus 5, Nexus 6, or your Nexus 9. And once you swipe up from there, this basically looks the same as it always has. Uh, there's a new wallpaper. That's the only new wallpaper so far, so if you're hoping for more than that, you'll have to wait for some updates in the future. It's a nice one, at least. Uh, Volume controls are far simpler now, so if I just toggle them down, I can actually just tap up here. And you see controls uh, for the system level, uh, for your alarms, notifications, things like that. So it's a lot less confusing than it was in Android 5.0 Lollipop. So that's simpler. Uh, the app drawer is also much different. Now it scrolls up and down vertically as opposed to horizontally. And you've got a list of your recent apps up here at the top, so those are easy to access. And you can also search for stuff which should be helpful if you have a lot of stuff on your phone and you can easily find the apps you want. So that's new. So one of the big focuses today on stage was app permissions. Uh, Google wants to make it much more simpler and much more straightforward to turn off things that you don't want apps to have access to, your contacts, your calendar, photos, stuff like that. So now you can actually go into app info and tap on permissions and turn off these things one by one. If you don't want Facebook to see your photos or your location, you can turn those off. There's warning that it could cause problems for you. Uh, apps are made to work with these features, so turning them off might cause issues, but you have the option now to just toggle those off whenever you want to. So unfortunately, some of the big things shown on stage aren't actually in this first version. Uh, so now on tap, which is the new feature that actually scans your screen and pulls up Google Now cards that are useful, uh, that's not here yet. So you can see I've searched for Chipotle and Chrome. If I hold down the Google Now button, it's not gonna do too much for me just yet. So hopefully that'll come soon some kind of update to the preview builds, but right now you can't use it just yet, which is unfortunate because it seems very cool and one of the big new features of Android M, and there aren't too many. And so the same thing goes for tap and pay. Uh, you can't use Android Pay just yet. If you go to the tap and pay menu, there's nothing here. Uh, the old version of Google Wallet is still in the store, so they still haven't launched Android Pay just yet, so you can't pay for things in a store yet. That'll probably come out closer to Android M when it actually launches to everyone. Uh, they're saying in Q3 of this year. So again, this is just our first look at the new version of Android. Uh, it's got a long way to go before it actually comes out and hits all phones. Uh, Google still hasn't gotten Lollipop on many phones to begin with. It's on about 10% right now. So there aren't too many deep changes here, uh, new useful features, but stuff like fingerprints don't work yet because there's no fingerprint sensor in the Nexus 6. So that'll have to wait for hardware to come out. And uh, so for right now, it's very early look at what's new and uh, hopefully more is gonna come along pretty soon. Uh -huh.